debit card holders. Should you opt in to overdraft protection, or would you rather take the chance of having your card declined? New federal rules require banks to get your permission, called opting in, before they enroll you in overdraft protection programs. Those are the services that charge $30 to $39 every time you overdraft your account. The bank approves the purchase even though you don't have enough money in your account to cover the transaction. And if you don't make a deposit quickly enough to cover the amount, they may hit you with another fee, and maybe another. If you don't opt in to overdraft programs, banks can't charge those big overdraft fees. But they may turn down your purchase at the cash register if you don't have enough money in your account. Studies show the vast majority of debit card holders never overdraw their account. So those people can continue to do what they've been doing in managing their accounts responsibly. How can you avoid the embarrassment of having your purchases rejected? Here are three tips to follow. First, sign up with your bank to get email or text message alerts when your account balances are low. Second, link your debit card account to a checking, savings, or credit card account. That way, if there's not enough money in the debit card account, money can be taken from those other accounts to cover your transaction. And third, keep track of the activity on your account via the web or mobile banking. The new debit card rules only cover ATM withdrawals and one-time debit card purchases, such as buying coffee or paying for a meal at a restaurant. If your debit card account is set up to pay recurring monthly bills, those types of transactions, as well as electronic checks and paper checks, may still be hit with fees for insufficient funds, but the bank will not reject the transaction. For more information on the new overdraft rules, go to creditcards.com. I'm Connie Prater.